We will come from 2 Corinthians 9, 6 through 8. But this I say, he was so sparingly shall be bought so sparingly. He was so bountifully shall be bought so bountifully. Every man according as purpose in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loves the cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that yea, having also, always having all sufficiencies in all things, may abound to every good work. As it is written, he has dispersed abroad, his, he's given to the poor, his righteousness will remain forever. Amen. At this time, we have one offer to take up in the church office. We're going to have off the next time we live by Brother Ricky. If you love him, say love Jesus. If you really, really love him, if you love Jesus, you are the chosen.
Son of God, all things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring greetings to each and every one of you today. Thank God for all that is here present. We thank God for those that are absent in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank God for his saving power and his keeping spirit. Thank God for him doing for us the things that we desire. Thank God for that. Thank God for just keeping me with a mind to want to do those things which are right and pleasing in the sight of the Lord God Almighty. Thank God for all things, all the men that are preaching and teaching the words of truth. Thank God for each and every one in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we just thank God for being here. It's a good thing, isn't it? Yes, sir. <clears throat> it's a good thing that you have a mind to want to do what the Lord say do. For it is not his will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yes. In the name of the Lord, we pray that God will ever grant men, women, boys, and girls that chance, that opportunity to repent of their sin before it is eternally and ever lasting too late, knowing that we are living in the last dark and evil days where men, women, boys, and girls some of them don't want God. Yes. But we thank God that we have a mind to want to do what the Lord say do and strive to be all, <clears throat> excuse me, what God would have us to be in these last dark and the evil days. So continue to pray much, pray one for another that the will of the Lord will be what we, you know, he wants us to be in our lives. Get the third chapter of Colossians. Affection your desire on things above, not on things on the earth. Is that right? You got to get away from this, this earthly stuff. Things that are on the earth. Is that right? We got to be seeking what's going to go on as we leave here. Because we're all on our way out. God's how young, how pretty, how old you are, you're on your way out. And we have to seek those things which are above. Read the book. What, for you are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. Well, you're dead. You say, well, I ain't dead, I'm alive. Well, we're supposed to die to things that's not of God. Amen. Anything that's not like God, we're supposed to die to. Amen. That's why the scripture says, walk in the spirit. Eighth chapter of Romans, Joshua. Is that right? We're supposed to be a certain kind of way, don't we? Amen. Amen. That's what we're supposed to be. We all supposed to be striving for what? Same thing. Amen. Is that right? Yes. Everybody trying to get to heaven. There ain't gonna be no division in heaven. Amen. I guarantee you that. Amen. Ain't gonna be no division now. We bring and there's division down here. But the scripture says it's Christ divided. But there ain't going to be none in heaven. Amen. Got some in the north, some in the east, some in the south, some in the west. Ain't going to be no division in heaven. Is that right? Amen. Got to do it all right here. Amen. You all be a one mind and one spirit. What did Romans say? Romans chapter 8, you know, verse 1. Uh-huh. There is therefore now no condemnation, and no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. That do what? Who walk not after the flesh. That, who don't walk after the flesh. But after the spirit. We got to walk after the spirit. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Uh-huh. For what the law could not do. What happened? In that it was weak through the flesh. What did God do? God sent his own son in the likeness of sin in the flesh. And did what? And for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. Well, you know, sin got to be condemned where about? In the flesh. In the flesh. In the flesh. We can't be, we were sinful, we did all kinds of things. We enjoyed doing them. But he said, if you didn't be risen with Christ, set your affection on things above. We did a lot of things in the flesh. And if you're not careful, you'll be saying you're holy doing things that you should do Amen. in the flesh. Amen. Is that right? Amen. What does 6th chapter of Romans say? Hold your point, Josh. What does it say? Likewise, brethren, we 
Likewise, reckon ye yourselves to be dead reckon, unto sin. Reckon yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin. I sometimes ask people, I say, have you ever repented since you got filled with the Holy Ghost? Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. A lot of people have. Yes, sir. You know why? Because you did something you had no business. You, you got in the flesh. Amen. But God should walk in the spirit. Yes. You stay in the spirit, we got right. But once we get, aren't you glad for that benefit? Amen. That God has let you know that you can repent. And be forgiven for the sin that you do or something that you have done. Yeah. Thank God you don't hold it on us, do it. You give us a chance to repent, give us a chance to straighten ourselves out. And I thank God for that. Yes, thank you, Amen. Because yes. a lot of us are going to have to repent. Yes. Amen. Since you've been filled with the Holy Ghost, Amen. had to repent. Yes. Had to repent. So, some people say they got the Holy Ghost and, and tell lies, too. You know that? Amen. That's why those people say lie not one to another. Amen. You know I mean? A saint, a holy person don't lie, a holy person will lie. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Tell them a lie so quick. Talk about Jesus. Lord Jesus. Huh? Lord Jesus. Tell a lie, look at you right in your face. Amen. Is that right? That's why I tell people to be honest. Amen. Be just. Because if I say something, I'll say I say. Um, people Amen. say, he said this, he said, you know, it's like, go to get it from the horse's mouth. Yeah. Amen. And that's, that's what people used to say a long time ago. I said, let this get it from the hog trough. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Amen. Learn to be honest. Learn to be truthful. Is that right? What he said? Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead and be Wreck unto sin. Unto sin. But alive unto God through Jesus Christ be, our Lord. Thank God. Be alive. Let us alive to alive to what? Righteousness. Yes. Alive to righteousness. Yes. Amen. What else he said? Let not sin therefore range in your mortal body. Don't let sin range in your mortal body. We got to keep sin out. Is that right? Amen. What else he said? And let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body that you should obey it in the lust thereof. Uh huh. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin. Amen. But yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead. Alive from what? From the dead. From the dead. Alive from the dead. Amen. See, we got to die, but now we got to become alive in Christ Jesus. Amen. Alive from the dead. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Amen. We don't want to continue to do those things that we once have done. Amen. We got to watch ourselves in every area of life. Yes. In everything we do. We got to dress right. We got to go places, the right place. We can't look at too much of something that ain't right. It's all kind of things yes. that come in our life that we got to do according to the will of God. Yes. Is that right? Yes. We got to do it, brothers and sisters. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because God's going to require it of us. Because yes, it's coming out of the book. Yes. Is that all right? Amen. What else he said? Amen. Neither ye you your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin. Yes. But give yourselves unto God. Unto God. As those that are alive from the Live dead. Live from the dead. And your members as instruments of unrighteousness. And your members. Your members. As instruments of righteousness. Your members. Oh, wait here. Your members. Wait, what members? You are body, aren't you? Amen. And you got what? Amen. Members. Amen. You're right? Amen. You got to watch what you see, Jesus. watch what you hear, Amen. watch what you say, Amen. watch where you go, Amen. things you do. Amen. Huh? Amen. Your members. Amen. It's going to take with one member of your body to cause you to sin. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. He said, all right. Five and verse six, and listen to what it says. This I say then. What should we do? Walk in the spirit. And what will happen? And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Amen. Walk in the spirit. Amen. You know, but well, we're in a time now, you know, we really got to be careful. Yeah. Because it's so much flesh. Yeah. There's so much things in the flesh that Thank we you, can Lord. do. And we, we, we may not, people may not say it, but you enjoy doing things in the flesh. 
People enjoy doing things in the flesh. When a man fornicating, a woman fornicating, or whatever you're doing, you enjoying that. Is that right? Whatever you do in the flesh, that's not of God. You enjoy it. Is that right? You look at the world, there's so many things going on in the world. Is that right? So I tell people, you know, we as supposed to be holy, we got to even dress right. Yeah. You know, it ain't good for, really, I know it happened, but God said a woman that put on what, what a man put on is abomination. Yeah. And I know people wear, wear pants, but you got to break that, you got to break that yoke. Yeah. It don't matter if you want to be like God now. Amen. See, you say that people wear jewelry, you got, can't wear all that stuff because God worked it. It's things in the word that God says. Is that right? Yes. Amen. People do it. But God's word is against any of the something. Anything God's word is against, we got to stop doing it if you want to be saved. Because God ain't like man. God's going to judge you. I believe it's the 20th chapter of Revelation. He says, I saw the day. Didn't you say so? Yes. Smiling me. Standing before God. Yes. And the book, I don't care who you are. You got to stand before God for everything you do. You got to give an account. Yes. If you're lying, you're stealing, whatever you do, whatever you say, whatever you do, you got to give an account to God. Amen. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Remember that now. Who? Everybody. I don't care who you are. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Doesn't matter who you are. You got to give an account. Jesus. You better be careful. You're to walk in the fear of the Lord. Because whatever you say, whatever you do, Jesus. things you're doing, you got to give an account to God. Jesus. Is that right? Jesus. Can't be so nonchalant and thinking, oh, this is all right. No, it ain't. Mm. We better make sure we do it. That's why I got to teach it and preach it. Amen. Is that right? Yes. And I ain't trying to be and trying to preach like nobody. I'm, I'm doing it according to the building that God gives me. Yes. Huh? Yes. Amen. I'm going to tell you the truth. Whether well, you yeah, like it or not. Yes. What he says over there, Rick? Now, Revelation 20 and verse 12. Listen. And I saw the dead. We, go, go, go up a little bit. Start at verse 8. Let's hear it. Start at verse 7. Let's hear it. And when a thousand years are expired, a thousand years expired, Satan shall be loosed out of Satan his prison. Satan will be loosed out of his prison. And shall go out to deceive the nation. Go out to deceive. You know, you know who's deceiving the world now? Yes. Look at how people do. Yes. Look at the thing people do. Thank Women you. have lost morals for themselves. Yes. Nah. Men have lost respect. Men have lost respect. Nah. Children being disobedient. Yes. Nah, sir. Is that right? Yes. All kinds of stuff going on. Amen. And we in the church, we got to be careful because we'll be, we'll be, we have a way that we, about us that ain't like God. Amen. 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 Satan, you know what Satan want to do? Tell you what Satan want to do. The scripture says right there, a house divided against itself will stand. No, no. Ain't going to stand. Amen. And that's what Satan is bringing it's all, it's in Tallahassee, it's up north, it's in Atlanta, it's in Philadelphia, it's in Alabama, it's everywhere. Jesus, Satan yes. is bringing Lord division Jesus. in the Jesus. church. Yes. 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 All you want is people to be separated. That's right. You get a husband and wife separated in the house, it going to be some problems in there. Thank you, Lord. That's all, that, that's what it is, brothers and sisters. It ain't nothing but Satan. And he's doing he come to kill, steal, and destroy. That's what he's doing. And we look at it as a spiritual thing. Well, this is the way it is. No. It's Satan working and you don't see it. Yes. You don't understand it. Yes. All over. You got preachers talking about preachers. Preachers taking people, uh, taking members from people. Pre people going, visiting people. Yes. And all kind, just all kind of stuff going on. Yes. Yes. People act like they for you. One point, point and then they against you so well. Yeah, go to this place, talk to me, talk to you about me. Go to Rick, talk to Rick about me. Yes. It won't come to me. Lord Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Lord Jesus. Don't think it ain't happening. It's happening right now as I speak. Yes. 
here in Tallahassee and everywhere. Yeah. So don't think it's a shock. Oh, yeah. Don't think it's a future shock. Oh, yeah. This stuff is happening. You know who's doing it? Oh, Satan. Yeah. People don't want to look at it like that. I'm here to tell you. Satan brings the mission everywhere. Because once he can weaken the church and weaken the people, the scripture says it like this. Because iniquity shall abound, the love, glory to God, of men shall wax cold. Love keep you together. Yes. But when that love starts waxing cold, I don't yes. care if it's in a house. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's in a home. Mm -hmm. I don't care where it is. Mm -hmm. When you stop loving like God say, it don't make you no difference. Amen. Amen. And that's what's happening in churches. Yes. All over the world. You especially churches that say ain't no Christ. Amen. See, you already got the other one. Yes. Right. But those that that say they know God and mm -hmm. they got the Holy Ghost and all these good things that people say you bring division among people. Yes. Yeah. You can be in the same building and people be divided. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't think there's something that I don't know. This stuff been going on and it's going to keep going on until Jesus comes. Amen. <laughs> Help us, Lord. Jesus. She's going to divide the wheat from the tares. So what you think? Yeah. Nothing. What's new? Nothing. The scripture say ain't no new thing on the hunt. So, Amen. What's new? Nothing, nothing. Tell me something that's new. Yeah. Tell me some things that I haven't already experienced. I already see, but I see it, I see it more now. Yeah. I seen stuff happen when I first got to church. Amen. 19 years old. Hell, 66 six, still seeing stuff. Yeah. Nice, what's new? Nothing, nothing. Say, exactly. Nice, sir. Satan oh, is nice. still working. How long is Satan going to work? Nice. Until Christ comes back. And rapture the church. Amen. You just got to make sure we write in God. Amen. What it says. Listen to it. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation. And what else? And kingdom against kingdom. And what else? And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquake in diverse places. And what else? All these are the beginning of sorrow. And? Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted mm -hmm. and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of nations for my name's sake. Mm -hmm. And then shall many be offended. Many are gonna be offended. Yes. And shall betray one another. And shall be we, in that time now. Yes. People betray you. Yes. Betray one another. And shall hate one another. And shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise. And do what? And shall deceive men. And what else? And because iniquity shall And abide. because iniquity yeah. shall abound. What's going to happen? The love of men. Going to do what? And you know what it's doing? It's doing that in the churches yes, all yes. around. Especially the church that say they know the Lord Jesus. Yes. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. The churches don't realize what is happening. Yes, it is. It's, it's, it's going on. Yeah. Preachers hearing stuff. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. How can somebody say that they are God and say they love me and they ain't going to go and talk, instead of coming to me, going to go talk to some other preacher? Amen. Amen. I'm here to tell you, you're wrong. Amen. Amen. He said you got to all go to somebody else. Amen. You got something to get and come and talk to me. That's right. Don't go to Mississippi or New York or Hawaii. That's right. Amen. See, this is wrong. Let me tell you all of something. This is what's wrong with people. They are not doing it like God said do it. They are not taking the step like God said do it. They take one step, that's it. But you got let me tell you something. You got to do every step like God said. And if you ain't gonna do it like God said do it, shut it down. Because in the sight of God. Ain't no flesh gonna be justified. Oh, That's happening everywhere, all over, everywhere, everywhere. Mm. You ask me something, I'll let you know. No, I, Josh, great y'all. I want to be saved. Hallelujah. I want to be saved before I even got a thing. Yes. 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 
I don't want to go to hell. Whatever God words say, I'm willing to be obedient to God. Where I do not want to go to hell. Sometimes you can feel like glory to God. You can feel like Jonah. Jonah ain't want. Jonah ain't want to go down there. But God, He had to go. Sometimes you don't feel. You just rather be somewhere by yourself serving God. Huh? But Jonah had to do what God said. But he that shall endure it to the end. He that shall endure. He that shall endure. You got some enduring to do, brothers and sisters. We can feel good when everything's going well. But you got some enduring to do. Is that right? Amen. Amen. We got to learn how to even endure with one another. That's like a husband and wife. They stay together a long time. Don't think it's just been sugar and honey all the time. It's been some aloe in there. It's been some bitterness in there. Been, is that right? Amen. But when you when you want this thing to work, you endure yes. until yes. the end. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You got to endure till the end. You got to endure till the end. A lot of people don't want to endure. Amen. But Jesus, he, he endured, didn't he? Amen. We get to the point sometimes that people of God seem to, you know, a long time ago, it seemed like people just had a love for one another. But now it, it doesn't make people no difference now. Amen. You know, the love of God, he said, because the nickel shall abound, the love of many. The wax and cold. Yeah. Shell wax pole, didn't you say? Yeah. And you know when you have love, it makes a difference, don't it? Yeah. Yeah. But with something you don't love, you don't care about being around it. Yeah. Yeah. It don't make no difference. Yeah, I don't care about being there with, with him. I don't care about her. Yeah. Love, don't. You know what, man, when you, when you was in love with that woman before y'all got married, you would call her. You would call her every night. You come and see her. Is that right? Hey, hang up. Hang up. You hang up. You hang up first. No, you hang up. Is that right? Yeah. Hang up and then call back. What you going about? I just want to hear your voice. But when love is white cold, hang up every minute. We got to keep the love of God in us, y'all. Because the scripture says you are taught how to love one another. Yes. Love is very important. Love is very vital. Yes. Is that right? Yes. When things go on in the home, husband, you don't leave your wife and your children. Yes. You stay there and you do it, and do it, don't you? Yes. You love them, you stay right there with them. Yes, sir. But if you love them, you don't care if you leave or not. Yes. You don't you go and won't look back. Yes, sir. Is that right? See, that's what people are liking. They're liking the love of God. Yes. And they're liking endurance. Yes. That's what people need. Yes. What he said, Rick. And because iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall do what? Wax cold. But he that shall endure until the end. Endure, endure. Endure. Some of y'all in marriage a certain length of time. Haven't you had to endure something? Yes. It's some stuff you had to endure. It's some stuff you still endure. Yes. Because you want that marriage to work. Yes. You got to endure in, in here, in, in the body of Christ, yes. so that we can be pleasing in the sight of the Lord. We got to endure things. Something we got to go through. Yes. Is that right? Sometimes people don't want to go through nothing. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, you're going to go through something somewhere. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Imagine, well, I'm going to give me another one. I'm going to go somewhere. Well, wherever you go, whatever you do, man, I'm going to give me another wife. Okay. You still got something to endure. <laughs> wherever you do, wherever you go, you're going to have to endure something. Yes. And wherever you go and whatever you do, you know what you got to be? 
Faithful. Faithful. Is that right? Yes. I talk to the brothers sometimes, and the brothers wonder, what is it? I said, be faithful. Because it's, it's required of a steward to be faithful. Yes. Is that right? Yes. I don't care what you do, where you go, whatever the case is, whoever you are, wherever you go, you got to be what? Faithful. You got to be faithful. You're looking for those that that gonna come among you to be what? Faithful. I'm telling you, I'm here to tell you, wrap up straight whoever you are, all of you, all of you. You be faithful on your job, don't you? Yeah. Don't you be faithful on that job? Yeah. Some people go to their job and won't come to church. They have red eyes going to the work. And won't bring a fight out of church. Amen. 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 It's required. It's required. It's required. Who said that? God said so. That you be faithful. It's like a man and a wife. Women, let me see your hand that you that you don't want your husband to be faithful. You want to be faithful, don't you? Hug, don't you want your wife to be faithful? Yeah. Sure you do. So what you think about God? How long did God say be faithful? Yeah. How long? Yeah. I don't care what we did. You got right? To please yeah. God, you don't have to be faithful. Parents love faithful children. Yes. Y'all want to hear me preach this before. This ain't no new sermon today. <laughs> Don't think this is a new sermon. You done heard me say it many times. Yes. I've said it to the brothers and said to the son, be faithful. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Amen. Amen. You have to prove yourself. Yes. All right, read the book. Joshua. Romans, Romans chapter 8, verse 4. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. The Holy Spirit, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. Hold your point, Rick. You never get finished over in Revelation. We started so many good scriptures, so many good things. Coming to mind. Yeah. Just to encourage you, brothers and sisters. Want, you know what? Just to encourage you. Want you to strive to be saved. Want you to strive to have the love of God in you. Want you to strive to know it's important for us to walk in the Spirit. It's important for the young people to know what they can and can't do, what they should and shouldn't do. We see a lot of a lot of things. You know, we just hope that you grab something that will benefit you. You know, not to Walk after the world. The world got a lot of things to offer us. But we want to walk in the love of God. Is that right? If you're doing something that is not of God, ask God to help you get rid of it. Ask God to help you to do what, what he said. Is that right? Amen. Thank God that. Because God going to judge us out of the book. Isn't what the Revelation say? I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. Uh -huh. And the books were open. And the books were open. And another book was open. The books were open. And another book was open. Which is the book of life. Thank you. Revelation 3 and verse 12. Books was open and another book was open. Which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in If you're dead, you're going to come back and give an account to God for what you've done. Lord Jesus, thank you. Out of the book. Let's make sure what we do, we do it right. Thank you, Lord. Let's try. See, we both be a people that want to do what God says, and we want to do what's right. That's right. That's the whole, that's that's why we want to live. We ain't living just any kind of way. But if that's scared, just go and make I didn't do what I was doing. Just go make do what you do. We live in a special way, as God says. You are a peculiar people. 
a holy nation, a royal priesthood. So with our job, we want to do what's right according to God's word. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Amen. We should all want to do what God said. God said, repent, be baptized. We did that, then. He said, seek God for the Holy Ghost. He did that. He said, put away certain things. We got to do that. Whatever God tells us to do, we got to strive to do that. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Well, you got to own against the brother, go to him. That's right. He said, go to that next person. Okay. Is that right? You're going to speak the truth, speak the truth to your neighbor. Don't tell no lies. Whatever God said, we got to do it. Amen. And all you got to do is just examine yourself. Yes. You know what you're going to say that ain't true? Acts 2 and verse 40. Let's hear it. And with many other words. Did he do what? Did he testify and exhort saying. Do what? Save yourself. Save yourself. Unto what generation? Unto what generation? Be honest. Be true with brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. Young people, be true with and honest. Is that right? Yeah. You got something to ask me? Ask me. Is that right? That's right. Yes. Don't go and say, tell somebody something. And if I got something to ask you, I'll ask you. That's right. That's right. If I need to I come and ask you, why you did such and such? I know how to come to you, and I'm not afraid to come to none of you anyhow. Amen. And I hope you're not afraid to come to me. Amen. 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 What they hear. People, and, and sometimes, instead of coming to people and saying, what they need to do. They go they go other places and spread stuff. Thank Did you hear this net? And then, you know, it's like they say it in the circle. Yeah. You know, the circle that the children play. Telephone. You know, whatever it's called. Yes. And, and they say, they tell it. And by the time we get back, it the, the, the wrong thing. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So if there's anything y'all need to ask me about anything, you're always welcome to ask me. And I will tell you the truth. So help me God. Not what nobody else said, but you, as I say, get whatever it is from the horse's mouth. Amen. If you want to know something, ask me. Lord Jesus. If you're going to hear something, come and ask me. Amen. And see what I say. Because people say you said something, you ain't said. That go for any of y'all in here. Amen. That go for y'all one another. Amen. Not just me. I'm just, I'm just putting me in it because I'm up here. That go for y'all too. That's right. Josh, you heard something. About David. Instead of going to David, you go to Rick. Maybe they heard something about Larry. Instead of going to Larry, he go to, to Jack. Learn to go to the source. Learn that. Learn that then you can get it like it is. Got the practice. Well, that's right, child. You know, you lift the weights, you, you lying back and you ran. And I was too. You know, to get strong, we had to practice. You couldn't just go in the gym and sit down. You just can't go and look at the weights. You got to, you got to work with the weights. You just can't look at the finish line and not run. So, you got to what, listen to you all. That go for us here and all over the world. I don't care where I was, I'll say the same thing because it's the same God. You have to practice these things to get better. Amen. What things have you worked on that you've gotten better in life with? All you do is just think about certain things that you weren't as, as good with, but by you con consistently Amen. doing it, working with it, you got better. Amen. I mean, I'm sure you can look at things. Amen. I have granddaughters that play different instruments and different things. Yes. Some will play the flute, some will play the violin. Now they might have got a little scratchy when they first started. I had a daughter to play. Yeah. I remember she played a violin. Mm -hmm. She still probably can. She probably scratchy now. Mm -hmm. But if if she get if it get dedicated That's right. and, and just work with it, yeah. what would you like? She'll be chair number one. Yeah. Yeah. See, when you chair number one, you you, you at the top. And chair number one I always wonder about chair number three because they come. They come. <laughs> getting better. Mm -hmm. Is that right? What am I saying? All of us, whatever there is, there's weak things, there are things. Work on those things and let's get better. 
Learn to come to one another. Learn to have love with God. It doesn't matter, even husband and wife. Learn to talk to one another. Learn to say what you like and don't like. It's think in life, that's, that's the way life is. Whatever you do, and you do it consistently, consecutively, and faithfully, and faithfully, you'll get better. You might have a rough time getting up, going to work. Hey, hit that, hit that smooth, though. Know? But when you, once you make up in your mind, you got to get up and go. You get going. Amen. All right. You got to go. So I hope y'all get what I'm saying. Just be consistent in what you do in the love of God and doing the will of God. Get to be consistent and more faithful in praying. Most people say be instant in prayer. Yes. Yes. Now you can pray so much until you just Jesus. You, somebody say pray. You say let's pray. Yes. Be instant in the things that is of God. Yes. It will be better. We'll be better off. If you got to come to somebody, go to them. Whatever God say, do it consistently. Yes. Yes. Don't do nothing grudgingly or anything like that. Is that right? Yes. We'll be consistent in that. Yes. God help us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus. He listened, y'all. He listened, y'all. Yeah. All right. Let's continue. Ain't gonna hold you long. I saw the dead small and great. But I saw the dead. I saw them small and great. Stand before God. And what happened? And the books were open. And what else? And another book was open. And what happened? Which is the book of life. And? And the dead were judged out of those things which are written in the book according to their works. So, we everybody will be judged according to their works. Amen. How are you working? Don't neglect the thing. You know, one scripture says, you know, they have neglect that great salvation. Don't neglect the things of God. Just have a desire to do what God says. Not to neglect it, not to look at it as, oh, well, I'll get to it. No. Do what God say do. Amen. Amen. All right. Continue. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. Uh -huh. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And what happened? And, th and they were judged every man according to their works. Uh -huh. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Yes. This is the second death. Oh, that's what we're trying to miss. Amen. Who all trying to miss hell? Some hands didn't go up. Why y'all hands didn't go up? I said, why y'all hands didn't go up? Why y'all hands didn't go up? Some of y'all didn't even put y'all hand up when I said you trying to miss hell. You, I guess you're not trying to miss hell, man. Because I know I have both my, because I am trying to miss hell. I am trying to miss hell. Man, you tell me we, got, we got so much pride in us, we can't hold our hand up. You ain't trying to miss hell. Huh? Yeah. Whatever you do, whatever you do, I'm trying to miss hell. Amen. Amen. Who all want to go to hell? Brothers and sisters, y'all be encouraged. Be encouraged. Don't let a nickel abound in your heart. Amen. If there is something that you have in your heart against me, I'm going to say me. Let me know. If there's anything that I've done to hurt you, let me know. You know, and if I preach the gospel to hurt you, you just hurt. That's right. You just hurt. It doesn't matter. You just hurt. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. Because honestly speaking, I don't think I've done nothing to nobody since I've been here to hurt. It may be things I've said that you didn't like. But how many times I've said something you don't like? How many times your boss tell you something you don't like, but you still go to work? Amen. Don't you? Amen. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. That's right. 
So, um, whatever it is that some of you may have in your hearts and minds, may God bless you and may God help you to get those things out. Really examine yourself. Look at things. Look at your mindset. Look at what you may be. You know, one scripture says how that, you know, it shouldn't. If, if you regard iniquity in your heart, you shouldn't even pray. Amen. You regard iniquity in your heart, you shouldn't even pray. You know, so a lot of times there are things in people's heart that they hold themselves or either they'll discuss it with someone else instead of discussing it with others. Amen. That wouldn't look right, Mr. or Miss. A wife wouldn't want you to discuss something with another woman. And I'm not going to answer anything right now. We'll talk later. I'm not going to, I'm not going to come in anything. Else. After church, we can talk. I'm not going to answer. Anybody want to see me after church, you can take time to see me. But I'm not going to answer no questions in the church. Amen. Not right now. I'm not I'm not going to go off into that. Not, not now. Mm -hmm. Now we can talk. Because I'm not going to get everybody involved in, right. in things that right. is irrelevant to me right. for as them hearing right. anything. But if something they want to talk with, we can line up out here or we can go in the office and talk. Right. If it's a group y'all need to talk about something, we can talk in a group. Yeah. But I will bring a witness in. Yeah. That's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start bringing a witness. Is that all right? Yeah. See, I got to have me a witness too. Because people are going to leave out and say, you said this or the other. Right. And I ain't saying that. Right. Yeah. No, I'm saying this because, you know, we just want we want everybody to be happy yeah. and feel good. Now, I'm going to tell us something. Brothers and sisters don't hold no grudge. <laughs> Sometimes people hold grudge from way back 20, 2018. Mm. I thought you'd have forgave me for that. Mm. I forgave your brother for that. Yeah. But we hold things. Don't, let me tell you something. The scripture said this. Don't hold no grudges. Not many of y'all holding grudges. Yeah. If you got a grudge in your heart, Jesus. you should have been clear that because if you got a grudge, y'all you know I mean you say, Well, I got this here. I say, How long you had that? Mm. Tell me the year. 2015. Mm. You've been wrong ever since then. Mm. Jesus. You got something in your heart ever since 2015. You, and you've been talking to somebody else about something. Now, I'm just saying, I'm just talking in general. And you ain't got it straight yet. Thank God he ain't coming to take you away. But brother, the scripture teaches us don't hold grudges. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't no don't 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 do that. No. Don't be holding grudges. Get back over in Colossians. I ain't mad at nobody. I'm just telling the truth. Amen. We no, just can't like, you know, we, we got to bind Satan up. Because Satan is a liar. Satan wants us to, to, to have all these kind of different feelings about each other. So we both got love in our heart. Jesus. Ain't that something for Satan to do? Yeah. Okay, so what? I left the church because of this. Well, you don't need a church because of that. You try to get things straight. Yeah. Try to work on things. I left my wife because she ain't cooked no biscuits. Somebody look at you and say, man, what's wrong with you? Do you know how to cook biscuits? If you do teach her how to cook. But there's too many petty things. Let's get back over in the scriptures. Begin at verse 5. Mortify therefore your members, which are upon the earth. Uh -huh. Fornication. Fornication. Uncleanness. Uh -huh. Inordinate affection. Uh -huh. Evil concupiscence. Yes. And covetousness. Uh -huh. Which is idolatry. Yes. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, mm -hmm. and in which ye also walked sometime when ye lived. Well, you used to walk, then we used to walk all kind of ways. Yeah. We walked all kind of ways, then. We lied, we steal, we hated. 
One scripture said hateful and hate. We was hateful and hate one another. Do anybody here hate anybody today? We used to hate each other. Yes. That's why brother says I try to keep myself in a position in life and I ask God for peace. Because I know how old Larry can be. I know how old Larry can be. And I try not even get myself in conflicts and different things that go on. A lot of stuff could be going on. People be talking about it, it don't even some things don't even interest me. Because I try not get myself involved in that in that capacity. Yeah. Jesus. I want to stay at peace. I want peace in me. I want peace. I don't want to be all wondering and fluttering and, and about things. I want peace of God in me. Before I came, before God brought me in, I didn't have peace. But I want peace now. Read the book. But now you also put off all these. What else? Anger. Put off anger. Wrath. Wrath, malice, malice, blasphemy, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Put off all these. Blasphemy, wrath, malice, filthy communication out of your mouth. What else? Why not one to another? Holy. Come on now. Why not? You just examine yourself. Have you told the lies that you've been filled with the Holy Ghost? So I'm going to tell you something, brother, sister. I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes people get, you got to be careful when you, what you hear what people tell you. Because people come there and tell you a lie. And make you change your mind and thought about them. Somebody can tell you a lie. Josh can tell me a lie about Rick and make me look at Rick a different way now. Because I believe that lie he told me. How many of y'all know you've been lied to before? Amen. You don't know that. Do you? But sometimes you've been lied to and it doesn't cause you to look at people in a different way. Yeah. You don't think that that's true? Yes. It happens. Yes. They can tell a lie on you and you start looking at that person different. Yes. They can tell something about somebody. Is there a tell you something about somebody? It'll make you look at that person different. Yes. Anything somebody tell you about somebody else, it'll make you look at them differently. Yes. Do you know whether or not it was lies or not? You'd be surprised if somebody done told somebody that made them look, look at you differently. Amen. Somebody be done told a lie and make them look at the, at the body of Christ different, at the church. Amen. Somebody be done told a lie and make them look at the, well, we worship different. Amen. So you got to understand, brothers, people be telling lies now. Amen. People be telling lies. Amen. And a liar can't tell them it's not enough. People lie. People lie. Lie not one to another. Lie not one to another. Seeing that you have put off the old man. Seeing it. Now that's the old man. So you know when you start talking about lying and stuff, you know who, the, who that is, don't you? When you start lying, you know who that is. That's, 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 that's that old man. He, he, trying to, he trying to come back alive. In you. He trying to come back alive. In you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Don't lie, don't lie. Seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds. Any of y'all been lied to before? Yeah. You do something to you, don't you? When somebody lied to you, you do something to you. Don't you? Let a husband lie to his wife. It'll make up think something different. You can lie to that woman if you want to. You lie to her one time, she may not trust you no more. I thought you said you didn't do that. Yeah, you lied. She, now, that, now that confidence is gone now. Yeah. Yes. Lying is not good. Be truthful. Be honest. Thank you, Lord. And the scriptures say, lie not one to another. We shouldn't be lying. Exactly. I ain't never told a lie on none of y'all. I ain't never told a lie on none of them. Why should I tell a lie on you? And I'm, and I'm afraid what God said about lying. I ain't never told a lie on none of you. I ain't about, I ain't about lying. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
Now, I, I, I'm saying these things because of what I, I'm feeling. Jesus. And what I'm saying, what I mean by that is, if somebody think I'm going to lie to them, after church, you can come and talk. Amen. If you think I'm going to tell you a lie, I ain't never lied Amen. to you. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. And don't lie to me. Amen. Don't lie to each other. The scripture say, who the scripture say? Lie not one to who? Another. Lie not one to who? Another. Let everybody say another. 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 I know some of you didn't say it, but that's all right. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But he still need what he say. Amen. Lie not one to another. Amen. Why? Why? Wait a minute. Why? Do you want your husband to tell the lie to you? No. No, you don't. Hug you with your wife to tell you a lie. No, you don't. And God don't want us to lie one to another. Because he's down the church. Hug your wife. Is that all right? Amen. Don't lie. Learn to be truthful. Learn to be honest. Lie not one to another. Say that you have put off the old man with his deeds. That's and when you tell a lie. That's all of us used to be liars. Used to be liars, weren't we? Are you still a liar? A liar can't tear in the sight of God. Amen. Don't be a liar. And I'm gonna tell you how we got to be as people of God. If y'all hear somebody say something about me, you know it's not tell them. That's a lie. Because you could be here with somebody. No, he, he, he ain't say that. Wait, is somebody saying something about David? He said, no, that's a lie. David, David ain't no. No. Uh -uh. Yeah. Yeah. That's, character. that's not his character. That's not him. You don't lie one to another. Amen. Don't let nobody tell you a lie about each other. Amen. Sometimes people suck them lies in and, and go with them and start talking to somebody else. Put stuff on the internet. Texting each other. Ah, we are something else as people. Yes. That flesh is something. Yes. Yes. Flesh is weak, spirit is with it. Yes. We got to get rid of them flesh and deeds. Lie not one to another. Yes. See that you have put off the old man with his deeds. And what did verse 10 say? And have put on the new man. And have did what? The new man. Where the new man and the new lady at? Which is renewed in knowledge after the image now, of the image. Hey, when you take off that old suit, it got holes in it, the sleeves all messed up and everything. You, you put on that new suit. You don't even want to see that old suit no more. Amen. You can say, throw it away, I'll give it to the goodwill, I'll give it to somebody else. Nice. You know, do something with it. 